Don't splash it. All right, so today we have gotten to bake 11. We've taken everything out of there. So that's the pump, the sump. We've unplugged the heaters, making sure they're in a good spot not to break. And then we have drained out all the water into this bucket. And then we have pretty much rinsed it clean. We're vacuuming out all the debris. And then we're gonna fill it back up and pretty much go from there. <laughs> the next step from there, once we have finished the base here, and, and Josh has done so much good work. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, no problem. And what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be moving from this section and we're gonna be taking the corals out. So the corals will come out into another hole in the section we're gonna set up right here. Then we'll go in, siphon, and literally with like a little toothbrush, clean up all the frag plugs and make sure that they are spotless and we don't see any type of parasites or anything on them. Yeah. So that's gonna be a big project here of scrubbing this down. We just reinstalled the MP40s here with the line going up, the controllers are at the top of the tank. So we've improved the circulation in both of the frag tanks. So that's what we do also once a quarter, we take everything out, scrub it down, even especially the plates. The plates are where you're gonna get areas of growing algae if, not, if you're not watching it. So we take all the grates out, we scrub them off and all the corals put them back in. So that's the big project for today. Next week, we're gonna show you the setting for the lights by introducing the parameter. So come next week, Pisces will have a parameter that's gonna be available for rental. But we're gonna be showing you how we use it to map all the reef tanks. All right. See, this is why I will go in with a longer siphon on the predatory tanks because there's so much that comes out of these tanks. See the entire column? Even after I release the sand, there's no sand here, still coming up. So it is very important to siphon your sand bed when you have predatory tanks. Tanks that you feed extremely heavily. Like this one, because we have all little papa over here. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so get that out. Okay. So everyone, we're going to get for Pisces, and I'm really excited about the final stage of our cleanup of the tanks, or quarterly maintenance and the introduction of a power meter. So we're going to be having this unit here available for rent. At Pisces, you're going to be using this if you have a reef tank, you want to calibrate your lights, or if you have a plant in aquarium and you want to calibrate the lights specifically to the plants you're growing. So this is the unboxing today. So this is actually the one. This I'll put this together after, but this is the most important one. And see how small it is? Oh, just... Here he is, our new power meter. This here is actually the light meter part. This is a cover, I'll just take him off. And that's what the light meter looks like. So the light rays will hit this. It will register on your control unit here, which I won't bother opening up. In fact, yes, yeah, since it's in boxing, let's take him out. Comes with the battery. Here, and that's your digital display. So this is the Apogee, uh, the MQ510, that's right, MQ510. So this part 
of the meter is what connects to the wand. So the wand, you'll be able to put it into the tank, move it around with the meter facing up horizontally all the time. So we're going to map our tank, we're going to map our crack tanks here and our tanks at the front. So if you want to know what power is on our corals, you simply just ask because we now have the Apogee power meter. We'll start using it tomorrow. Stay tuned. Over there, that's a fish. How many years ago? Because it swims.